next session on answers workbench tutorials in this session we are going to analyze the piston assembly for its model analysis we will start by double clicking on model module next i'll go to engineering data engineering data sources general materials there are various materials used for the piston head as well as the connecting rod for this analysis i am using aluminum alloy as the material for both of them you can use any other material and analyze the piston assembly i'll bookmark aluminum alloy next i'll go to project update project Next, I'll go to geometry and right click. I'll import the geometry directly. I will give you the link for the geometry so that you can download and use the geometry directly. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll first go to geometry. Now, in this geometry, I have the wrist pin and the snap rings also included. I don't want to use them, so I'm just suppressing these bodies. Now, I'll allocate material to the connecting rod in the piston head, which is aluminium alloy. Once it is done, I'll go to mesh and I'll change the sizing to fine and update. Next, I'll go to model and I will insert fix support on the begin of the connecting rod next i'll go to solution and solve You can see here, six modes have been created, which is the default mode number of axis. So, I'll go to the last mode. Behind that, I'm going to just left click. Then I'll right click and select all. Again, I will right click, create mode shape results. So, you can see all the deformations have been created for the corresponding frequencies obtained. So, I will go to solution and solve once again. We have got the results. So I'll go for the first deformation. The value is 75.996 mm and the corresponding frequency value is 208.25 Hz. You can animate and see the pattern of its motion. Next, I'll go for deformation 2. The value is 77.282 mm and the corresponding frequency is 338 Hz. You can again animate and check the pattern of its motion. These value of frequency and deformation are corresponding to aluminum alloy material which I have used for my assembly. If you change the material, you will get different values of deformation and frequency. But the initial mode number is going to remain the same, that is 6. Then I will go for total deformation 3, value is 77.482 mm, corresponding frequency is 420.76 Hz. 
He can again animate and check the pattern of its motion. It is a roll kind of motion. We have already discussed in other videos that the initial three types of motion is a yaw, roll and pitch that you obtain and then you find higher versions of natural frequencies and also its pattern of motion. So we will go for deformation 4 wherein the value is 90.486 mm and the corresponding frequency obtained is 1806 hertz. You can see the difference between the two frequencies is quite large. From 420, it has shifted to 1806 hertz. Also, if you see the deformation, for 420 hertz, the value is 77.482 mm. And for 1806 hertz, the value is 90.486. So again, you can see a quite large difference between the deformation for the two frequencies. Next, we'll go for total deformation 5. Here, the value of deformation is 114.58 mm. And the value of natural frequency is 2343.7 hertz. You can again animate and check the pattern of its motion. Suppose if you don't want to see the wireframe that you see here, you can just go to this option here and select no wireframe. So what you get is a pure contour results, no meshing that you can see here. Last we will go for deformation 6. The deformation value is 70.484 mm and the value of natural frequency is 3262.8 mm. You can observe that slowly after the fourth deformation or the fourth mode, you are seeing a change in deformation. For the fifth one, it has become the highest that is 114.58 mm and for the sixth one, it has drastically reduced to 70.484. So this is something which needs to be noted and also the change of frequencies that you can see for each mode. You can animate and check the result for the last one. Now suppose if you change the material for piston head or the connecting rod and you make a combination of different materials and to do the analysis you will find different results of frequency and deformation. I mean the values will be different as compared to what you obtained now. So material plays a very important role and so does the geometry. So with this I end the session on modal analysis of piston assembly. I hope you have understood the analysis. If you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.